I say, where are your keys? And you go, oh, the keys, they're where I put them. You are a putter. And to sum up, you're a good human being. Uh, you work hard, you try hard, you're probably quite successful. The other group, the leavers, or shithead devils, <laughs> to give them their full title. If you say to them, where are your keys? They'll go, <laughs> wherever I left them. <laughs> and you will die in an accident. I mean, that's just a fact. You have to know where things are. That is a fact. And here's the problem in relationships. You tend to find you get a putter with a lever, right? Because you can never have two putters together because they will kill each other uh, <laughs> over which way the beans should face in the cupboard. They go westwards. Oh, do they? In your face! <laughs> of course, you can never have two levers together because they will die of dysentery. What you tend to find is you get a putter with a lever, and what happens is the most annoying thing about levers is that they're more fun to be around. They're happier people because, they, you know, they go around dropping things and knocking stuff over, and the putter goes around, oh, that goes there, and that goes tiny. <laughs> I'm valid, I'm valid in the relationship. <laughs> levers drop things because they're enjoying life. They don't, who cares where my keys are? Tinfoil's shiny! <laughs> <laughs> Not a good mixture in a relationship to have a mixture of, let's make a collage, let's make a list. <laughs> and I, I make lists for a very simple reason. That I, like to, I like to control my life, right? And I, uh, my view on happiness is kind of like that, happiness. It goes up and it's down, it's, it's wavy, and the happier you are, the sadder you'll be. It always evens out. And if you're impulsive, you will have days where everything's perfect and it's an amazing day, but you'll have days where everything goes bad and you'll fluctuate a lot like that. You see, I can't handle that, so I keep my way fairly shallow. Like, oh, that was a nice Kit Kat. Oh, bloody hell. <laughs> and if I try to be impulsive, I don't know how it's done and I just ruin days. Like, my, uh, the last girlfriend I went out with, uh, we, were, we were chatting, it was the first, first time we'd spoken, and she said, oh, this is nice, let's go out on a date. What would you like to do? And I thought, don't be honest about what you'd like to do, because it's probably weird. Say something sexy and impulsive, right? I said something so impulsive, even I didn't really know I was going to say it until after it had happened. Right? <laughs> she said, oh, this has been nice, what would you like to do? And I went, oh, let's go ice skating. <laughs> Which is easily the shittest sentence I have ever said. <laughs> I mean, the phrase, would you like to go ice skating, is on a par with, would you like a fire bath? Just an experience and a range of temperatures your body does not need to go through, right? If you go ice skating, you will fall and you will hurt yourself, and it's your fault. Right? Ice has evolved. It's got slippery for a reason. It doesn't want us on its back. I don't mind falling over. I fall over in life. I like a drink. And you trip, and you put your hands out, and you try and minimise the damage, don't you? That doesn't work on ice. On ice, you splay out, and you slide for another 50 yards, surrounded by out-of-control teenagers with razor blades on their shoes.